Okay, so now we're looking at the eighth video of this booklet. And we're on page uh, 9 at this point, okay, at the bottom of page 9. Okay, we did the introduction of it already, it's fairly short. So the first question says, express y in terms of theta. Okay, firstly we can say that x theta angle is equal to sum of 20 and opposite. Okay. Or we could have gone with alternate angles, so 2 theta minus 40 plus y is equal to 2 theta plus 40. Okay. We could have worked our sum of triangles here, that's a bit far-fetched. 180 minus that angle, then, then angles in the straight, um, angles in the triangle thereafter. Okay, but as I indicated, I, I, I'm already seeing 2 theta plus 40 degrees equals y plus theta plus 10 degrees. Why? Because the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite. The exterior angle of triangle and its triangle P, Q, R. Okay? Do we have to say this part of it? No, you don't. Okay? So we take theta, you, they ask you to express y in terms of x. So you must y, y is the subject of the formula. So y is equal to 2 theta minus 40 minus theta minus 10. So y is equal to theta. Give plus 40, no? 2 theta plus 40 minus theta minus 10. So it's going to be plus 30 degrees. Okay. So that is your, your, your y in terms of x. And with theta, sorry. Then the second part of the question says, calculate the size of theta. So again, you must set up a triangle here. Okay. And not a triangle. Sorry, man. You must set up an equation. Okay, and there we go. Can you see that? The alternate angle, so you can say that 2 theta minus 40 is equal to theta plus 10. And the reason for that is the fact that it's alternate angles. Alternate angles with TP being parallel to QR. TP being parallel to QR. They get over so theta is equal to 50 degrees. Okay. That's really simple. Let's go to exercise 3 on page 10 now. Okay. So let's do the introduction. So we tell that ABCD is a trapezium, a trapezoid. So if this is trapezium with AD being parallel, so that is given to us, to BC, then A, B, Sorry, AB is equal to AD, so those angles are equal there. Then B, D is equal to BC, so that means you say those angles are equal there. Angle C is 80. Nice. Determine the unknown angles. Okay. So firstly, A is going to be 80 degrees. Why? Because angles opposite equal sides. Angles opposite equal sides. All right. So now to calculate B, sum of triangles there. Okay, so that's going to give you 20. So B is equal to 180 minus 80 minus 80, which is 20 degrees. Sum of triangles is triangle uh, BDC. Okay, again, do we have to say, do we have to name the angle? No. Okay, so angle B is 20, or B is 20, sorry. Then to calculate C, yeah, the color, yeah. you see there's alternate angles. So C is the same as 20, alternate angles. C is equal to 20. So alternate angles with AD being parallel to BC. Okay. So there's 20. Now what do you see for D? Angles opposite equal sides. So D is also 20. Angles opposite equal sides. Okay. And then for E, sum of triangles. Can you see that? 
angles in a triangle adds up to 180. So E plus 20 degrees plus 20 degrees equals 180, sum of triangles. Or interior angles of triangle. It's triangle ABD. Okay. So E is equal to, it's 40, so it's 140 degrees. Okay. The good one. Let's go with B. In B, okay, if I had made any uh, mistakes in calculation, please let me know on that number. Otherwise, these cal calculations, these videos are free. And if there's an easier approach of explaining something incorrectly, feel free and let me know on that number. So we are told that ABCD is a parallelogram. So if they tell you that it's a parallelogram, then we know the four properties of parallelogram, parallelogram is evident here. Okay, the four properties are opposite sides are equal, opposite sides are parallel, opposite angles are equal, and diagonals bisect each other. Okay, cut your other in half. There's a mistake on the diagram, that shouldn't be there, no? So, now, if the, di if the diagram is not accompanied with those indications or indicators on it, we know it's there. However, if we use it, we must state it. Okay? Very important. So, it says calculate x. If we look at where x is, it's there. Okay? We know that the exterior angle is called sum of two interior opposites. Not so. So, we actually need B2. Can we calculate B2 at this point? Yes. B2 is 60 if those lines are parallel. However, those lines are parallel, but it's not indicated, so we must state it. So we're going to say that AB, or sorry, AD, is parallel to BC. Why is this parallel? Because opposite sides of parallelogram is equal, uh, parallel. So you say opposite sides of a parallelogram, or you write palm, or that indicated there. Opposite sides of parallelogram, parallel. Okay, opposite sides of parallelogram or parallel. Alright, so now I can add that to the diagram. So B2, of course, is equal to 60 degrees. As I indicated, it's alternate angles. So it's alternate angles with uh, AD being parallel to BC or BE. Okay, so there's 60. So now what? Now we can say that the exterior angle is called sum of two interior opposite. Okay, so 50, so 150 is equal to 60 degrees plus x. This is exterior angle of triangle, dot, 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 and it's triangle DBC. Okay. So that is going to give us 90 degrees. Okay, so angle X is then 90 degrees. Let's go with uh, C. C, we got A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, calculate X. Okay, again, set up an equation using one of the Euclidean rules. So we can go with sum of triangles here. Not so. However, we need C1. We can say alternate angles and C1 will be X. And then sum of triangles. 2x plus x plus 150 is 180. Angles in the triangle. Then, or interior angles of a triangle. So let's go with that first. So is this given parallel? No. So we must state it first. So you're going to say that AD is parallel to BC. Why? Because opposite sides parallel in parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel in a parallelogram. So we're going to say that angle C1 is equal to X. Alternate angles, as I indicated there. Alternate angles with AD being parallel to BC. Okay. Then, so there's X. So now we go sum of triangles. So we say 2X plus X plus 150 equals 180. Sum of triangles is triangle ABC. Okay, so 3x is equal to 180 minus 150 is 30 degrees, x is 10 degrees. Okay, so 
that is going to be 10 degrees. And they have solved for x. Okay, I'll go on to the next video.